Good morning. This is a little art update. Right now I'm getting back into uh, the swing of things with the uh, uh, square uh, sketchbook. This is the alien uh, St. Patrick's Day parade. Uh, right now I am painting the, the pages. Uh, the paper is a little rough. Um, it, it wasn't really meant for, for painting, um, but that's all right because, uh, you know, we learn something new from every sketchbook, and the purpose of the sketchbook wasn't necessarily to make fine art. The purpose or the purpose that I gave to it was to tell a story in 80 uh, colored uh, panels, and that's what I'm doing. Um, it'll probably take me about uh, a fortnight to finish painting all of this. Um, that's a you know, working days, so if, if, if I have to take a day off or so, that's, you know, push it down a few days. Uh, but any anyway, uh, it's going to take me a few more days to sort of get into um, the habit of this sketchbook. Uh, you know, I have to get used to the way that it works. Because the paper is so rough, uh, it doesn't really uh, encourage me to spend a lot of time on each page, which is good because it keeps me moving, um, and it, you know, whatever idea I have, just put it down, and it's a good idea, and then just keep going. So anyway, I'll be done with this in about two weeks, and then I will have, I will keep this under some heavy books to flatten up the pages, and I will probably enter this in the state fair as an altered book. Um, now I've read the next two chapters or so in this book on the history of the comic strip. Uh, they're not... There's not a whole lot I want to say. We've really moved through the Great Depression and entered World War II. And in many ways, here we have Dick Tracy, um, the 30s and 40s were the highlight of the newspaper comic strip. Now, of course, you know, Peanuts began in 1950, and, you know, the first 15 or 20 years of Peanuts are completely phenomenal. Uh, Flash Gordon here. Um... And of course, in the 1980s and 90s, we had the trilogy of Farside, Bloom County, and Calvin and Hobbes, which are all great strips that I'll discuss one day. And really, those three strips should be talked about together as a unit, because that was sort of the, the last golden age, I suppose, of, of the comic strip. Although, I, I, you know, I do think that um, Richard Thompson's uh, cul-de-sac uh, sort of belongs in that trilogy, even though it came a little later. Richard Thompson was, was doing art in the 80s and 90s anyway. But what's so great about the 30s and 40s, and really why the book is more than halfway done by the 30s and 40s, is this is, this is the high tide of, of the comic strip. This was at a time when all Americans were reading the newspaper, often a morning and a daily paper. These comic strips were being read aloud uh, by children to each other. There were uh, radio shows that reinforced these characters, like a... A little orphan Annie, and the the doings of these characters were um, a national um, cultural phenomenon. Um, here we have Blondie in its early years. Um, uh, let's see, we I think we've passed uh, Lil Abner. There's the Lil Abner here. So Fritzy Ritz, which later became Nancy. You know, these are sort of what comic, what the newspaper comic strip was in the 30s and 40s is a little bit like what Marvel Comics was like in the 70s and 80s, when Marvel Comics was such a huge cultural phenomenon. Although, by then, comics were a cultural phenomenon to comic fans, whereas the, the comic strips of the 30s and 40s were a phenomenon basically to all Americans. Now, there were some, um, some overseas comic strips that I would like to study one day, but I... You know, I only have access what I have access to, um, although I have heard some interesting things about some old comic strips. Smokey Stover, we saw some of those uh, reprints at my grandfather's house. Um, but, but, but anyway, um, you know, this was such a, a big phenomenon at the time that, you know, that when the war started, pretty much every comic strip character went to war or was involved in the war in, in some manner. Uh, Ski Six from Gasoline Alley went to war and got married, Terry and the Pirates, of course. And, you know, it's this is such a fascinating period to, to see how high the uh, 
the medium had come. Um, and then it's, it's in some ways tragic that, you know, with the coming of television, with the, the splitting of the market between comic books and comic strips, um, that, that really comic strips never recovered after the war. They were still immensely popular and important, such as Peanuts, uh, but they would never have the same phenomenon. If you want to see the, the energy of the 1930s and 40s comic strips, I would suggest it's what we see with manga today, in the sense that manga is the world standard of comics, and it reaches tens, if not hundreds of millions of people um, every day, and, and those characters are certainly beloved. Anyway, I will keep you updated as to this uh, sketchbook. I've got some interesting things I'll be painting today and in the coming days. All right, goodbye.